Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can also use wildcard characters to add an additional level of flexibility into your queries. Wildcard characters represent unknown values, and there are two main wildcard characters that you need to know. There's the asterisk and the question mark. The asterisk represents multiple unknown characters. For example, using the criteria n asterisk underneath a column would find all n words in that particular column, such as Nebraska, Ned, Not, Never, Ever. But it would have to start with an n, and there could be any number of unknown characters that follow. The question mark represents one unknown character. So if under a column I put in a criteria like n question mark d, it would find only text values of three letters that start with an n and end with a d. Words like ned or nod. You can type in as many question marks, however, as you need to fill in the requisite unknown characters. So using a uh, syntax like n question mark question mark d would find words like need and nerd. When you type wildcard characters in the criteria row of the QBE grid, Access will place the word like before them. And that's really the required syntax. Once again, it isn't necessary for you to type it in yourself if you don't wish to, as Access will add it to uh, the query criteria for you. But also, don't worry if it appears in your criteria either. Wildcards are oftentimes handy in notes fields, where you're looking for information within a larger um, field. So for example, we have a notes field on our employees that has paragraphs of information. Within those paragraphs of information, I'm interested in finding anybody that has a BA that we've put in for their educational information. What I could do is I could click under the notes column, which is the one in which I would like to search. I could type a criteria such as asterisk space BA space asterisk. The reason I put a space on either side of BA is so that it doesn't return values such as MBA, Masters of Business Administration, for example. When I tab out of this field, notice that it adds the additional syntax. So here we're looking for things that are like, double quote for text value, asterisk, literal space, BA, literal space, asterisk, double quote, ending the text value. When I run this by clicking the red exclamation point, I can see right off the bat that the three people it did find do hold BAs. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.